why are we doing a new Ford GT after 50 years and 10 years after the previous one? It's because we're using this vehicle to demonstrate the engineering prowess within the Ford Motor Company. This is the pinnacle of Ford performance. And this is gonna showcase our latest and greatest technologies, the latest innovations that we have, and what Ford is all about. Uh, we're gonna use all the technology that we've put in this car and the innovations, and we're gonna bring it down and cascade it through the rest of our product lineup. But it's really time now to emerge and let the world know that we're still here and that we have, uh, we have one heck of an engineering team. Well, I did the idea to go back to you know, the original vision of develop a race car and then put it on the road uh, is that we, we're using the, the racetrack as a test bed for our innovation and technology. And so that's what this car is all about. Uh, we, we've changed you know, Ford performance. It's all about performing now, not just racing. And so this car is gonna be our, one of our newest attempts to go out, prove that you can design a race car, learn from what you do on the track, and bring it back into everyday cars. Not just the road car for the GT, but the rest of the Ford lineup. Well, so the car, it's gonna be powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Uh, that engine is going to produce over 600 horsepower. Uh, it's a race-proven engine. We've been running this, this engine in the racetrack in America uh, for the past year and a half now in the IMSA series. Uh, and we won races like 12 hours of Sebring and the 24 hours of Daytona. So proving that this is a very durable and, and powerful engine. Um, this car is all about aerodynamics. Everything that you see on this car is functional and for a purpose. Uh, and then light weighting is a big deal. This is all carbon fiber, use of high use of aluminum as well. And uh, again, using this vehicle to, to push the envelope on lightweighting, aerodynamics, and power. Yeah, it's always a challenge when you want to make sure that you have a design that is progressive and futuristic, which we believe this one is, but then retain your heritage and be able to, at a glance, know what this is. And we think that with our design team and what they've been able to achieve, we've got that. You look at this vehicle, and I think anybody would look at it and say, that's a GT. Uh, but when you look at it again, you realize that this is, this is a futuristic machine. This is not yesterday's car. And this is definitely something that everyone's looking at as to see what it's gonna do. Well, it means a lot to Ford going back to Le Mans. I mean, 50 years uh, of heritage is gonna be celebrated next year as we arrive back on the race uh, racetrack. Uh, you know, it means a lot to our company. It means a lot to the Ford family. Um, so, you know, to be able to return to Le Mans with a supercar like this one, to be able to, you know, compete uh, at that level. And uh, it'd be really nice to, to take a victory that day uh, for the Ford family. It'd mean a lot to all of us. You know, a lot of people wanna know who we're gunning for and what we're doing. We're gonna show up that day with one hell of a race car, and I hope Ferrari's ready as well. So a lot of people ask me how this car is gonna differ from the previous model. This car is gonna be more capable. It's gonna be easier to drive. It has a lot of the driving aids that you would wanna see in it, but it still has the ability to shut all those aids off as well and let the driver be one with the car. But this car is definitely more balanced uh, and uses a lot of, you know, we have a lot of patents pending on our suspension and other things that we're not even talking about yet. But uh, I was in the car the other day, uh, absolutely superb balance, very precise. It's going to be a well, well uh, balanced machine. So I, I personally love the, uh, we call them the buttresses that connect the wheel well to the, to the main fuselage. But those buttresses are not only beautiful, they're also functional. They're for aerodynamics. And then what a lot of people don't know is we're actually taking air through the intercooler and passing it through those buttresses as we bring it into the engine. So uh, everything on this car is functional, but that's my favorite part of the design. And we already know that it's gonna be a hit with the fans. Uh, we introduced this in, in January in Detroit. We've taken it all around the world, basically. And the, uh, the interest in this car and the response has been phenomenal. So uh, we know that we, we have a hit on our hands as far as resonating with our customer base and the people that, that love this car. Now it's time to put, our, you know, to put it out on the track and see what, it, what we can do. What, what we're gonna use this car for is we, as we work on trickling all of this technology into future vehicles, I mean, if you look at carbon fiber, you know, it's going to be a big push in the industry to lightweight the products as we continue to work on fuel economy. We're using the Ford GT as a proof point of proving out some new technology around carbon fiber, new production methods, uh, it, along with our, our partnership with Dow AXA to reduce the cost, find better production processes in order to make it affordable for everyday cars. The aerodynamics, the things we've learned aerodynamically in this car, we can apply to regular production cars as well to, again, make them more efficient on the road. So there's a lot of technology in here that we will be able to transfer to regular production cars. The great thing about what we've done with the Ford GT is that the race car, we designed it as a race car first, and then we figured out how to put a license plate on it. The difference between the race car that they'll see at Le Mans and what you'll put in your driveway is not very much. The race car has a fixed wing. Any active arrow has to be shut down for racing. 
But other than that, what you see behind me is the race car. And when you look at the race car, it's what's behind me. They're one and the same. Uh, it's hard to say what we're going to do in the future. Um, definitely, you know, 50 years is a big celebration. And so to celebrate it with a car like this just made a lot of sense. You know, where we go in the future with the GT, we'll have to see. Uh, but I think that we'll continue to use uh, this platform as the pinnacle of Ford performance and a demonstration of what we're capable of at Ford.